Yo, it's another beautiful day to learn something new and today I'll be teaching you how to find a business that suits nyota yako. Biashara yenye naingiana na nyota yako vizuri. Because pali nyota yako iko tulisema hapo kuna grace na kuna favor na kuna vile unaweza fail ukiwa na grace na ukiwa na favor. So ukisha align biashara yako na grace yako na favor yako. Hiyo ni sure bet you're going to make it in that business and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So sit back, relax, and forget your worries because whatever it is that is stressing you can and shall be fixed. Now, come I leave your day story. If this is your first time watching my videos, come you've been watching my videos, na bado ja subscribe, na kuwamba kwa moyo mkunjufu, ni kupe sekunde tano, ufinye subscribe, ili tuweze kuendelea. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Now, Najua economy natupeleka mbaya and everybody is wondering how they can make that extra coin. Unajaribu kutafuta ka side hustle, unajaribu kuona place, unaweza invest doe yako, upate returns. Now the question I find a lot of times, especially kwa mitandao, is somebody asking, nikona 10k, how can I, what can I do, what, be, what business can I start with 500k, what business can I start with 20k? And I usually find it interesting because Let's 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 first be clear. All businesses are good. Na kuna biashara yenye jamii kwa watu millionaires. I've seen a guy mwenye alianza akiwa hoka. Ule hoka wa kuzungusha tu suiti kwa stage. Akaenda akazungusha zungusha suiti, akatengeneza ka shed kake. Ka shed kaka ka kidogo, akakapandisha kaka kuwa kaduka. Duka kidogo kidogo ika expand, ika kuwa sasa anafanya ka wholesale wholesale hapo kidogo kidogo. Sa hizi that guy maybe it could be maybe 10 years later now. That guy runs a wholesale, a big wholesale. That guy is making serious money right now. So, kama angekuwa anaangalia kukuwa hoka kama biashara ndogo, ama biashara unanza na pesa kidogo ingekani kama, they'll never succeed. Also, even the best businesses, ile biashara tunasemanga ii na kuanga sure bet. Badu kuna watu wana fail kwa hizo biashara. The smallest businesses have made people millionaires. And also the biggest businesses kuna watu wamekula loss. Like for example, I usually hear people say, uh, you can never go wrong with the food business. Oh, because watu lazima wakule. I've seen people become rich in the food business. Na pia kuna watu wame invest pesa kwa yu food business. Ika wakata, wakaenda losses. Wakafungo yu biashara and they lost lots of money. So the best business if you ask me, ni kutafuta biashara enye. Also, I mean, uh, the best business ni enye mekukubali. Biashara yi kukubali, it does not matter how small or big it is. As long as yi kukubali, it a grow. Na biashara kukubali vizuri kama inaenda na nanyota yako. Because hapo ndo favor na graces inakupata. Unainuka, unapata connections, unapata favor even uh, competitor kwa clients wako. Wana kupenda, wana kusupport, mbaka una grow. So don't just jump into a business because umeona social media ati oh, biashara ndo ikona do. Yundo wasi kila mtu anasemea, siju on, online writing, saizi ho, oh, siju anga ingia, siju bitcoin, siju ifanya nini, siju enda, siju wapi. There are so many business ideas on on, on social media. Siju forex, siju binary, siju nini nini. So wewe na wewe unaingia biashara watu ujui nini nini wanafanya. Unaka mkurealize, yyo pesa watu wanasema wana make, ni pesa yako ndo wana make. Everyone else is making money, wewe peke yako ndo wana lose do. Juna jingiza kwa biashara uwelevi unaingiza na kwa biashara azia mbatani na nyota yako, unendo una lose pesa. So don't just get into businesses because you hear people are making money from it. Jaribu ku understand nini yao wanafanya. Zingine ni must come. The best business to start ni ile biashara inaenda na na nyota yako. Iyo ndo ile biashara uta understand, iyo ndo ile biashara uta kuvumilia from ikiwa kadogo mbaka ile time ita grow. And the funny thing is, uneza anza hizi biashara hata bila na pesa mingi. Ama hata zingine kuna biashara unanzanga hata bila pesa. Waza kuwa nyotako ni kuangia na watu. Una jua tu nyotako, una jua tu. You're very good with people. Kidogo kidogo na kuwa broker. Broker nanzanga biashara bila hata ndururu. Na nakulanga hata kulikumonya na uzeo kitu wanapati wa uze. Muna ingia mtuwa sales. Hakuna sikutaiko sa job ya sales. So it's very important to understand nyota yako ni gani. Where, where, what, is, what are you gifted at? What are you talented in? What's your purpose? Because hapo kisha lanizo vitu, hapo ndo understand nyota yako ni gani. 
na as long as nyotako iko mali grace itakufuata na favor itakufuata na uta succeed i hear people say you know start a start a business that you're passionate about look for something you're passionate about and you start a business i know it sounds cliche ju kila mtu anasemanga sasa mpaka imefika kusema ni advice hata mtu mwenye ajusti ya biashara atapeana but the reason why people say start something that you're passionate about and i'm a big proponent of that thing is because number one, ukai ona kitu uko passionate nayo kuna kitu ndani yako inakuvuta towards that thing there is a gift in you ama there is a talent in you ama kuna kitu ndani yako enye inakupeleka towards that thing so if you look deeply into it you're going to see what it is about that thing that attracts you na ukiingia kwa kitu yenye uko passionate nayo because the kitu natoka kwa roho even when things are not good bado unaendelea you might not be making money but bado unaendelea kujijenga and because you're gifted because you're talented at this thing wanga una grow haraka watu wanga wanakunotisa haraka unapata mnafanya the same biashara na mtu but for some weird reason watu wanapenda mtu mmoja kuliko mtu mwingine hata hapo hivi social media ukiangalia kuna watu ma channel zao wanga zina grow haraka mpaka unashangaa hakuna kitu maana mtu anaambia watu but watu do all of a sudden wanaenda wana support huo mtu anapata ma brand deals anakuwa celeb na anatajirika hivyo wengine kama sisi lazima tu struggle unafanya video unafanya ma video kama mia moja na ile yenye kona views mingi zani kona views 50 but bado tunangengana tu tunangengana tu so even though favor ufanya favor uku separate uku make stand out kwa watu na favor ndo tunasema ni nyota So nyota yako ku make una stand out from katikati ya watu as long as you're serving your purpose as long as you're on the right path. So kiana kwanza kujiingiza kwa biashara zenye uelewi uko utaenda u lose do. So tafuta ile kitu you're passionate about because whatever it is that you're passionate about is because there's a gift in you there's a talent in you there's something in you that's attracting you towards this thing end up or you find out what makes it hard for people kukosa ku realize nyota yao ama kukosa ku, ku succeed kwa ile biashara yenye nyota yao iko ndani is because of something we call the critical learning process as much as uko gifted as much as uko talented lazima pia yambatane na hard work pia nyota lazima yanapatane na hard work yes uta stand out but for you to stand out you have to work you have to start you have to be in that field for you to stand out lazima watu wakuone na ndio uweze kuanzisha biashara kuna kitu nitango the critical learning process kuna vitu lazima ulearn ndio succeed kwa hiyo biashara ndio at least hiyo biashara yako ifike mahali watu wanaweza kuona ni nini unafanya you have to learn other skills to supplement nyota yako and this is what we usually call the critical learning process na hii ndio ile process watu watakangi ku undergo that's why many people wanga wanakufa ama wanga wana give up before watumie nyota yao ama nyota yao ishai kumbuka kila mtu akona nyota it's only that those who do that extra step of the critical learning process watu watakuchekelea ukianza chini you don't want to start because unashangaa watu wanasema nini sasa maybe mimi sitaki kuja kufanya hizi video juu watu watasema nini wakiona niko na views 20 na kuna wengine wanapata 1 million so hiyo woga inafanya hata sitaendelea but nikiendelea na kufanya ile kitu ndafanya kuna mali itafika watu wa kunotice So wewe unaogopa kuanza juu watu watasema nini? Unaogopa kuanza juu unaona hiyo biashara inakaa ya kiufala ufala. Unaogopa kuanza juu unaona ni kama uta waste do. So you never get into the critical learning process. Na hiyo ndio ile process wanga inaku refine, inaku ground vizuri. Ndio mpaka ile siku pesa itakuja au uta waste, utakuwa umejoa ku manage vitu. Utakuwa ume learn ku manage biashara. Utakuwa ume enjoy the ins and outs of your business. So mpaka ile siku favor sasa itaanza ita, ita kumeku stand out biashara yako ianze ku grow utajua vile utamanage hiyo biashara yako utajua when to hire people when to do abcd how to do efgh ma suppliers wako wapi how do you hire how do you manage the business because you underwent the critical learning process one of the greatest footballers on earth the cristiano ronaldo some people say messi but These guys have to go to train to training every single day. Messi is lala the whole week atena tokea ngatu siku za game at junior the best footballer in the world. Atakuja wiki ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu hata aizi patata position. As much as you're talented, as much as uko na nyota. 
lazima pia kukuwe na hard work. Na hiyo aspect ya hard work is where the critical learning process comes in. And that is where many people fail. So tafuta ile biashara yenye unasikia uko na passion ndani yake. Kitu unasikia roho yako inapenda. Cuz hiyo itakusaidia number one, to think about the box and number two, even when things get tough utaweza kuvumilia because drive yako inatoka ndani, motivation yako inatoka ndani. You don't care what people will say, you don't care how how hard the journey gets, wewe unajua tu ndani yako kuna kitu, umeitwa kwa hii kitu. So kuna mali itafika na milango zitafunguka. So utaweza kuvumilia, utakuwa na hiyo patience, utakuwa na hiyo time ya kulan. Do by the time vitu zinalipuka, you in a good position. Hebu angalia hata watu wenye wanga wana trend. Kuna watu wenye wame trend na wakaenda wakaenda kabisa. Kutoka kina Aziat, kina Flaco, kina Kena. These guys wali trend na biashara zao zika grow. Kuna wengine, kumbuka the watu kaki na Githeriman. Githeriman alikuja siku mbili saizi hata atujia kwa wapi. Kuna wengine hata tumiona hata wame saidiwa na watu, wame jengiwa manyumba, wame nunuluwa, wame patiwa michango kubwa kubwa. But two, three weeks later, uo mtu bado wa sharudi hapa hivi kuomba omba tena. Because they were not grounded. They never underwent the critical learning process. So for you to find a business that suits nyota yako, lazima number one ujue nyota yako ni gani. And you do that by knowing your 40s. Know thyself, know thy past, know thy purpose, and know thy path. Once you shall jua iyo, utajua nyota yangu iku hapa. Then you look for something that you're passionate about. Then you get into it. Then you go through the critical learning process. And then once ume uko maali sasa watu wanaeza kuona and favor now lands on you, uta blow up. Na ile time uta blow up, juta kuwa already usha learn the critical learning process, uta kuwa usha jua venye mtu wana establish, usha kuwa grounded, ita kuwa very easy for you to scale. Because with favor, comes elevation. Lakini kikupata uko ready, hato ukwe na favor inakaaji, uta blow up chances zako. Because you are not mature enough to handle your own blessings. So no matter how much you na stand out, unapata mtu biashara yake ili enapua, then all of a sudden, either akanza kununua vitu extravagant, sendo anenda kukimbilia magari, sendo anenda kufresha madem, sendo anataka kutesa, sisi wote tujua mefika, kidogo kidogo, biashara ina collapse. Kidogo kidogo, ujalipa keyari, wamekujua meku, uh, wamekushika. Mara umendo umejekelea malone, you understand the process of growth. Umendo umechukua malone, umeshindo kulipa, biashara imekalas. Ulikuwa na nyota, but you are not mature enough kuhando blessings zako. So it's very important first to learn nyota ako ni gani, then you find something that you're passionate about, alafu, you go through the, learn, the critical learning process. And for the time favor now starts shining in your life when you start standing standing out in your in your industry utakuwa grounded vizuri na uta scale up vizuri and you will become successful so kama ujui nyota yako by now nikupenda kwako ju nimefanya video enough za kukwambia how you can look into your life how you can do a reading on your life how you can uh, introspect ujichunguze mpaka ujue nyota yako ni gani venye unaweza uliza watu venye unaweza angalia ikishindikana yote venye unaweza kuja kwa session so by now kama ujui nyota yako hiyo ni kupenda kwako waenda uwekele pesa yako yote kwa biashara yenye uelewi na ungetumia tu pesa kidogo time kidogo ujue tu nyota yako alafu uingie kwa biashara confidently so before uingie kwa biashara jua nyota yako find something that you can do and then go through the critical learning process so that by the time time yako inafika Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.